Hello friends, it's Lexa Lex Reads, and happy, uh, Wednesday, my dudes. Um, I know, I know that I didn't vlog at all last week. I know, I know that I did that. Um, to be fair, I only read two books. No, I only read one book. I only finished Catching Fire. And started, like, three other books. And finished none of those other books. But right now, I'm in the middle of The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, and I've never read it before, so this isn't a reread. Um, and I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, but that has its own video, so I'm trying to not, like, vlog the reading of this one. So I'll just do, like, baby check-ins. I'm, like, 65% way through the book. So I'm probably going to finish it today. I hope I finish it today. Um, and then I'm doing reading rush. So that's tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I don't know what this vlog is going to end up looking like. But we're vibing. Hello. Um, I have to film, like, four videos today. But before I do that, I want to unbox my book of the month with you guys. Okay. There are two books in here, so he's nice and stuffed. Um. Oh. I'm going to use this as a bookmark. I, it's probably supposed to be a bookmark. It says, this is the good part, book of the month. I like it. I, I'm just going to shove that in my bookmark holder. So my book book that I got this month is um, The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Um, you'd kill to be on it. Um, this is a murder mystery, like a classic whodunit. If you know anything about me and my mystery thriller tastes, you'll know that I love a good whodunit. And I'm on the hunt for the perfect whodunit. And... Every time I see a good-looking whodunit, I'm like, that could be the perfect whodunit. This feels pretty short, which I appreciate, actually. Oh, it's 300 pages. 313. Yeah, it's m not that long. It just feels very, like, thin, you know? The pages must be kind of thin. They're not that thin. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited about this. And then my add-on is because I am... I was commin convinced. I was committed... That's the word we're looking for. To having a full collection of Riley Sager books. Because I loved, I was obsessed with Vinyl Girls and now I want to read everything Riley Sager ever releases. So, I'm waiting to see if Book of the Month has Home Before Dark. Which I think is the one that's coming out this year. I think that's what it's called. Um, and if Book of the Month has it, I'll get it as my Book of the Month. And if not, I will order it ASAP from Barnes & Noble. But, um, this is the last one I needed of the ones that are already released in hard copy. I have this as an ebook, but after I read Final Girls, I was like, nope, I need, I need, like, a collection on my shelf. So this is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, um, to go on my shelf beside Final Girls and, um, every, Lock Every Door. I love this, like, cohesive, like, the slashy things that Riley Sager has got going on. Let me pull up another Riley Sager. One sitting right here, so I'll just grab it. It has, like, these little, like, lines on all of them, which make them all very cohesive, and they're going to look very beautiful on my shelf together, and I'm stoked about it. Yeah, so those are my two books of the books of the month. I'm going to put on my makeup now so I can record my videos. Vlogging two vlogs for two different readathons at the same time is really weird. I'm going to show you what I'm going to read next, even though it doesn't affect this readathon at all. Oh no! Oh no. I almost just knocked over an entire stack of books. <laughs> um, this is Indigo Blue by Kathy Cassidy. It's one of my favorite, like, childhood favorites. Um, and I'm reading it for the prompt for the Reading Rush, Readathon, book with a house on the cover. That's a house. So that's what I'm reading next. I did finish The Raven Boys, so that's my um, Care of Magical Creatures pick for Creature with a Beak on it. Because 
there's a raven on the cover. Um, so that makes seven prompts check marked off. So what, I have five left and 15-ish days to do it. I'm not mad at that. That's doable. We can do that. So we're in a good, we're in good shape. I'm going to put on makeup and record some videos now. <laughs> Am I buying nine books? Yes. Yes, I am. Do I regret it? No. No, I do not. It's not even all of them, right? That's only some of the stuff. Also, it turns out I have a Starbucks gift card that I forgot about. I don't know how much this is for, but I'm glad I have it. When the world is less on fire, I'm going to get some Starbucks. I couldn't figure out how to open my gift card like a normal person, so I just kind of like demolished it. I don't. Why am I like this? If I have to re-upload this 30 minute video again, which takes, you know, like four, five hours if you're, you know, three to five hours if you're lucky. <laughs> I'm going to end myself. <laughs> I swear to God. YouTube, don't do me like that. So I do have to re-upload my video for tomorrow. But the thing is, so I started re-uploading it, right? It's about 10% complete. I have about two and a half hours left and then processing... And then the Wi-Fi gets weird. <laughs> so now there's no internet on my frickin' laptop. So... 1 a.m. is a bad time to be me today. And honestly, at this point, I kinda just give up. I might read for a little bit. And then just go to sleep. I'm not tired is the thing. Happy Saturday, my friends. I don't know if I... Did I vlog at all yesterday? I might not have. Um, but I'll, I'll catch you up. So I'm reading a book right now that is for owls and also for my reading rush. I found a double dip. So um, right now I'm reading Undead Girl Gang, which is my... I think it's maybe Arithmancy. It's whichever one is has a heart on the cover because you know the undead girl the like title is in a heart um like on a pin on her denim jacket it, i it's pretty good so far if i were to rate it right now i would give it a 3.5 stars um but as we saw with the wicked deep that could drastically change um downward in the last few pages or it could just keep getting better because i'm about halfway through did i already say that my, half of my books that i ordered came in Welcome to Depression Room. You see the Amazon box over there on the other box? Um, and I was gonna unbox it for the vlog, but then I was like, no, I ordered enough books to put it in an unboxing. So I'm gonna unbox it. But I am really excited that my books came in. New books, new books. Um, this is, this will be what, my eighth or ninth book for my owls, so I'm just trucking along, we're doing great, sorry I didn't vlog at all today, I just, the thing that sucks about daily vlogging is like, unless I'm reading a lot, which I only read for the last like two hours, that's all I read today, like I don't, I'm boring right now, I just like go to class and then like read and film and edit videos, that's all I've been doing, so sorry team. My Amazon order is coming in four different shipments. That's so obnoxious. Oh my god. Why am I like this? Yikes. Happy Sunday, ladies and gent and non-binary friends. Um, I finished Undead Girl Gang last night. I was not planning on finishing Undead Girl Gang last night, but come 3 a.m., I had finished the book. Um, it was great. <laughs> 4.5 stars. So, on Goodreads, I'll give it a 4, but it's firmly a 4.5. It's just, just, 
if I'd liked the first 100 pages more, it would have been a 5. But the first 100 pages weren't really doing it for me. It took me a minute to get there. I adore books with Latinx protagonists or main characters. Um, hashtag representation matters. And Undead Girl Gang, we got a self-identified fat um, Latinx lady. And she's... <laughs> funny and she's angry and you know me too my dude um but i really really liked it i liked it a lot so that is my whichever i don't even remember once again whichever one book with heart on the cover undead girl gang check um not only that i'm gonna try and read another book today for reading rush um that i may or may not do the catching fire thing where I like shove it on in and be like look I did it huh um <laughs> because you know I I don't know if I'm gonna have time to read five books this week even though I would like to have time to read five books this week I have to read two arcs this week so big yikes on that one big yikes on that one um I have a meeting in like half an hour, and I'm starving, but I want pasta, but someone finished the noodles, so I have to make noodles to eat the pasta, but I have a meeting in half an hour, so I don't have enough time to make and eat the pasta, so I haven't eaten anything, and it's th it's 2.30 in the p.m., so I'm doing great. I'm gonna read for a while, and then I'll check back in later, my dudes. Hello. It's Monday. Um... Last night at about 1 a.m. I started synthesizing Gravity by Kay Ryan, which is um, an arc that I received from the publisher, which is awesome. Thanks so much for that. Um, but I've switched it. I've put it into my um, owls for read a book outside your favorite genre. This book, so Kay is a poet. Um, but this book is selected prose, so, um, at this point I'm about 10%, I'm almost 10% into the book, but at this point she's talked a little bit about poetry and, like, what she likes about poetry, and she's analyzed a poem, and I, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very short, it's only 208 pages, so hopefully I will finish that tonight or tomorrow, um, so I can write a review for the publisher, but also... So I can check off another book on my list. And I think this is going to surprise everyone. I think instead of reading Mockingjay for my book, for my, for my book that starts with an M, that's my potions, I think. Potions? I think I'm going to read Malice because I was going to read it for Reading Rush and ran out of time. And now I just can't stop thinking about it. I keep looking this way because it's staring at me. It's on my shelf over there and I I think I'm going to pick that up instead. So it's 5.53. I have a meeting at 7. I'm hungry. So I'm going to go eat something. Maybe I'll take a shower and then I want to read for a little bit before my meeting. So yeah, I'll check in when I start reading. I know I've been kind of a mess. Oh, do you want to see what I've done today? Okay. So I'm, I went through my books. Um, and I have a pretty solid stack of books to unhaul. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 17 books. That's a lot of books. I'm really proud of myself because I'm not always great at getting rid of books. But um, I've been going through my books yesterday, which is today. No. Yes, yesterday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, tomorrow I'm filming this. Yesterday when this goes live. Um, tomorrow I did the book unhaul challenge, um, and depict 10 books for that, but then I've been trying to reorganize my books because I would like to be able to use, here I'm going to turn you around, I would like to be able to, I know my room is still, I'm, it's still a work in progress for the moving in, that's the stack of books I'm getting rid of. But I want to fill this bottom one with books, and then maybe this second shelf with books, which is a problem because then I need to find places to put all of those things. 
Um, but then I also reorganized this. So I have like fantasy down at the bottom and then I have um, right here, I have contemporaries mostly and then next to those I have some thrillers. Then I have some like random ones. I have some random ones up on top, but I'm in the progress. I might change that up, but right now I'm in, in the process. In the process of reorganizing my books so that I like how they look at me when I look over and I see them. Um, you might notice that almost all of my books are stacked instead of set next to each other. It's just because I don't have enough shelf space to put them all next to each other. Um, there's also still almost my entire collection of classics, which is it's a pretty solid collection. I, I kind of own a lot of classics are over in that white bin over there because I just don't, unfortunately, have enough space to put them out. And I feel bad about that. It's kind of a bummer, but what are you going to do about it, you know? Um, so that's what I did this afternoon. <laughs> was I went through and did some unhauls. I'll post an unhaul probably in May where I like like a real unhaul where I sit down and like talk about all the books I'm unhauling because only 10 of those were for my like spring cleaning. The rest of them are separate from that. I just was putting my books up and was like, you know, I don't really want this book anymore. So yeah, I'll sit down and talk through those in a few weeks. Um, Colorado question mark might be opening back up in a couple weeks or a week or so which I think is kind of dumb oh but what I'm saying is I'm gonna have that stack of books until I can get rid of them so theoretically they'll be sitting over there for a while <laughs> um yeah this is by no means the final like the final look and I'll show you as soon as it's done I'll show you what my new shelves look like but um I don't want to finish the shelves over there because I kind of want to do a shelf this is going to sound kind of weird I have a lot of shelf a lot of books with with like mainly white spines and I think it could look really pretty if I take all of my books with white spines and put them on the middle shelf, like, all standing up, so none of them stacked, just taking, so, like, white or silver, because I want to put my Hunger Games books there, those are silver, and then, like, I bought the Raven Cycle, um, because I'm gonna give those a read. Oh, um, by the way, my Raven Boys vlog comes out on Saturday, so if you like the Raven Boys and you want to know how I feel about it, I vlogged and then sat down and talked about that whole, oh, Oh. Oh no. Stop it. I have vlogged and talked about The Raven Boys, and that comes out this Saturday, which I think is the 25th? 26th? It's either the 25th or the 26th. But so I want to put, like, my Offer the Game series, which I ordered but hasn't come in yet, and then, like, Violent Ends, and then The Waking Land, I have a Brene Brown and Blindness is White, but just like putting those up next to each other on a shelf because I just think it'll look really pretty. And then the reason I've decided to put books over in that shelf, um, for one reason, is just because there's not enough space down in the little shelf, which I'm sure you noticed when you looked at it because it's stuffed. But I want to start filming in front of these shelves um, because I want books in the background of my videos and I'm annoyed that there are never any books in the background of the videos so I think it would be nice because I think you know, I just think it would look pretty if like so the one on the bottom is probably gonna be just stuffed full also with just like books random books lots of books la la but then the one above it I think it would be nice a nice contrast to the chaos of the rest of my shelves if I were like, look, all of these other books that are pretty and cohesive. It's to have a cohesive shelf. That's really what it is. To have one of my shelves be cohesive. If I owned more black fantasy books, I could make this bottom shelf just black fantasy books. But I don't have quite enough. So I have like the Disasters and the Similars. And the da Disasters is purple. And the Spine of the Similars is yellow. So those kind of ruin the aesthetic. Also, if you read, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I'm sorry. 
Um, maybe I feel bad because I've been so bad at vlogging this week. This past week and the week before, the last two weeks have been a really bad vlogging time for me. And I'm working on it and I'm trying and I promise it's 6pm. If I want to do the things I want to do before I have my meeting, I've got to go now. Okay, I will catch up with you when I start reading more. Thank you. Hello. I just finished editing and uploading my video for tomorrow. I'm doing better tonight. Um, it's only 11.40ish. So, that's significantly better than normal. My friend Jared is trying to convince me to down the bottle of Crown that is chilling on my dresser. But it's like full. Like I've had like, like two, like a glass out of it. So... That's not happening. And I told him I'm not easily peer pressured. And he was like, quarantine rules, say drink. And I said, that's dumb. So instead of doing that, I'm going to start Malice by Chris Whitting. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about this book before, that's surprising because I talk about it a lot. This is actually one of my favorite books of all time. Um, this book is really fun because it is part prose, part graphic novel. So every couple chapters there's like a graphic novel section you can like see in the spine. It's like all... Also I'm like holding my camera. Sorry I know that it's like wiggling because I'm dumb. But every few chapters we get like a graphic novel section which are so much fun. But basically this book is a realistic fantasy book um, following a group of young teenagers, um, named Seth and Katie, who, in this universe, there is a comic book series that is hard to get your hands on, but it's called Malice, and basically there's this, like, urban legend that if you do this specific ritual, Tall Jake, who exists in the com comics, will, like, come to your house and take you into the, like, into the comic book, like, into the comic book world. Um, and Seth and Katie are like, okay, that's some bullshit, and then their friend goes missing, and then they, like, see him in the comic book, basically, and they go and they save him. This is a duology. The first one is Malik, the sec- Malice, Malik, Malice, and the second one is Havoc, which is also phenomenal, and I love Seth and Katie. It's so good, and I'm ready to read it. It's pretty short, I think. Yeah, no, I mean, it's like 375 pages, but, like, a good chunk of the pages are graphic, or comics, so, like, they take a second to read, you know? I'm excited. I'm gonna read it. Not all of it tonight, because if I read the whole thing tonight, I don't deserve to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> that was really dramatic. That's not really what I meant. What I meant was, like, if I read this whole book tonight, I'm not going to be able to get up tomorrow before 2 p.m. So, no more than half of it. You hear that, brain? Don't pull an undead girl gang. Because the other night, I read until, like, 3.30 in the morning because I was like, I'll just read one more chapter and then I read the rest of the book because I'm dumb. So, I'll check in with you soon. Sorry I didn't check in earlier. Oh, um, I also read 8 more percent of Synthesizing Gravity. So I'm 16% of the way through. I'm on page, like, 34 or something. Um, I'm still liking it. It's, right now, if I were to rate it, I'd probably give it, like, a 3.5. Just because it's, like, not, selected prose. It's, like, essays on poetry, which isn't, I love poetry. I love poetry. Poetry is one of my favorite things, but prose about poetry is like less my thing. Thing that I do during vlogs when I have stuff to talk about. Um, tonight's midnight snack, courtesy of skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate peanut butter almonds. These are delicious. If you've never tried these and you like peanut butter and almonds, I recommend. Um, and then my bookmark of the day is my Marvel bookmark that has the Agent Carter, Peggy Carter, I know my value on one side, and then I put the brains and the brawn together, and got, and, uh, now look at me, the best of both worlds, which is a whole quote. So that's that, on that.
it's 2 a.m. because I'm dumb. But I'm on page 217 of 375, which means my list will be finished tomorrow. Um, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I'll talk to you more tomorrow, but I don't want to wake anyone up in my house. So, it's lights off time. See you tomorrow. Check. This book, y'all, this book is so good. Okay. So, I love mixed media, turns out. Um, there's just so, it's so smart. It's so good. I love it. It's been such a while, like such a long time since I've read it. I haven't read it in a few years and I forgot. A couple of the like things at the end like I remembered plenty of the like middle stuff and like the whole beginning but I forgot the end so that was fun um, yeah okay you know what's wild at the beginning of the month I was like I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all of these Alice props but I only have I have to finish synthesizing gravity which I have like, what, 170 pages left or something? And it's like a little bit dense, but like, definitely doable. But then, all I have to read is The Vanishing Stare, and I did it, like I did all of them. Like every prompt. <laughs> um, and then I also am reading another arc right now that the goal is to get it done by um, the time the month is over. But, this is wild. I also, I just want to read Havoc now. That's kind of the problem. I'm not allowed to read Havoc until I read The Vanishing Stare, though. But I'm kind of in the mood for a mystery. So, I dig that. I'm ready. Let's do it. Hello! It's 4.20. I'm about ready to crack into the vanishing stare um but i just realized that i don't remember everything that happened in truly devious because i read it about a year and a half ago so i'm gonna watch the epic reads truly devious recap epic like the um epic reads investigates the truly devious mystery video and we're gonna see if that helps uh, jog my memory a little bit before i start reading this book because i have no idea what i, I remember like the big strokes that's about it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna watch this, and then if it isn't helpful, we're just gonna commit. <laughs> um, 50 pages in, 48 pages technically, but 50 pages into The Vanishing Stare. It's good so far. It's basically what I expected a truly devious sequel to feel like. Um, you wanna know the one thing that I remember more than anything else about Truly Devious? It's my deep love for Nate, who is my favorite character. Um, I remember him more than I remember anything else that happens in the book. Which is funny because, like, plot-wise, he's, he's, like, not that important, like, not compared to some of the other characters, you know. But I remember Nate the best, and in chapter two or whatever, when he calls Stevie, I was like, that's my boy, and I love him. And I feel like that's an unpop- not like an unpopular opinion, but I feel like I've never heard anyone be like, I'm in love with Nate. <laughs> but I'm in love with Nate. He's the best. He's so sweet. I- he's so great. But anyway, I have some drafts for my uh, production project for my visual communication class <laughs> um, due tomorrow night at midnight. And I haven't started putting it into, uh, like, into Adobe yet. I have, like, my, my, like, paper, like, my sketches, my drafts, but I haven't even, I haven't even opened Illustrator or Photoshop. At this moment right now, I regret never learning how to use Illustrator, because I think this would be easier in Illustrator, but I don't know how to use Illustrator, so I'm, like, messing around in Photoshop, and I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm a hundred pages into Truly Devious. Um, the ending of this chapter... 
Your friends are real dicks, Stevie said. I know, replied a voice, but they're the only ones I have. This is when the screaming started. What? Okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. Um, I need to edit my vlog. <laughs> I usually edit day by day, but this time I was dumb and I didn't do that, so I have to edit all of it. So I'm going to do my sign-off now. So, I'm currently 150 pages exactly into The Vanishing Stare. It's pretty good. It's decent. I don't feel quite as drawn to finish it as I did truly devious. But I'm enjoying it so far. One thing I would like to know if the moose is foreshadowing for something or if I'm just not supposed to notice how often moose come up. Because they've talked about moose like five times and it feels like a lot of times for moose to come up. I don't know. Anyway, this week, what did I read this week? I read Undead Girl Gang for my book with heart on the cover. I read Malice for my book that starts with M. The Vanishing Stare is my divination, and I'm in the middle of synthesizing Gravity, which is my book outside of my favorite genre. So that's four. And I think that's it. I think once I finish these two, Synthesizing Gravity and The Vanishing Stare, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't... Oh, and I read The Foxhole Court, which is... A contemporary um because it's looking like I'm gonna have just about a week I might actually add you know there are like the extra things like you can be like a dragon whatever you can like take mermaid as an elective um I might do one or do one or two of those just because I'm done or I can go back and read redo the ones that I said I might redo, so read To Kill a Kingdom, um, which will go in place of Catching Fire. I could read a longer contemporary to go in the place of the Foxhole Court. We'll see. We'll see, my dudes. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I'm sorry this week's vlog was a little bit weird, and I'm sorry that last week's vlog doesn't exist. <laughs> I will try to do better starting tomorrow, but I make no promises, honestly. I'm still figuring out vlogging. I'm better at doing, like, individual book vlogs than I am at doing, like, these reading, like, readathon weekly vlogs. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. As per usual, thank you for hanging out with me, buds. It was a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. That's all I've got. <laughs> Goodbye, friends.